Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Randy Shaves this morning. I'm going to have a shave for you. And it's going to be kind of a, a different shave for me, but it's going to be one that I'm really going to enjoy. Um, we're going to be using today Taylor of Old Bond Street, German Street Collection. Now, this is going to be a Taylor of Old Bond Street shave. I've got the, I've got the soap. I have the matching aftershave, and I also have the Taylor of Old Bond Street Badger Brush. Now, what's special about this to me is I bought all of this at the Taylor of Old Bond Street store in London on German Street. Last fall, I went there and um, got this. This is what the soap looks like. This is a brand new container, and what I use out of is when, at the time, at the time I was there, they uh, had a deal going where if you bought, if you bought this, they gave you a travel size um, of the soap. So that's what I've been using out of is the travel size. Still haven't, still haven't uh, used any of of the of the full size tub yet. Now another good uh, good thing about this, and a, kind of an unusual thing, this aftershave is a spray, and um, that's pretty neat. You don't see that very often, and you don't get this in a spray if you order online. I found out, but in the store they had the aftershave in a spray. Not like that. So that is the uh, things we're going to be using. The scent notes for this soap is bergamot, lemon, lime, lavender, geranium, neroli, amber, musk, patchouli, and vanilla. Very nice, pleasant scent. Very, uh, uh, how, how do I want to say it? it it's, it's an expensive scent. It, it's not overpowering. It's, it's just really, really nice. So that's what we're going to be using along with the Yates 921. Surprise, surprise. And I've got a Permasharp blade in there. So heck, let's go. Let's get started. We'll go ahead and lather up here. Soap lathers up really well. It's a kind of a thirsty soap, which it's a it's more of a cream as all tubs, well, as all of their uh, tubs of soap are. Now they sell pucks in their sandalwood scent. And I can't remember one more scent. I can't remember what it is now. But I've got the hard puck sandalwood. And I really like it. But I face lather with it. Uh, due to it being a hard puck. But yeah, I went to the went to their store. And it was really neat. I was really surprised that it's not a very big store. But man, it is it is jam packed with with shaving gear, especially soaps and splashes and brushes and so this we'll just call this Tobsy. Let me get this off my hands. Yeah, this is Tob's Day. Soap, splash, and brush. All from Taylor of Old Bond Street on German Street. Taylor of Old Bond Street on German Street. I meant to ask why that was, but forgot to, so you'd think it'd be on Bond Street, wouldn't you? But I didn't even see a Bond Street while I was there. It was really neat to really neat to go in there and look around, shop. Gives a good smooth shave. Shaves 
Sure does. Nice shave. They have a, a GL, GOF Trumper store close by, too. I didn't go to it. Um, I really didn't need to after <laughs> after going to the Tob store. I saw the place, but I didn't go in. London is one busy place, let me tell you. And to beat all, even though this wasn't the plan, it just happened. Uh, we were there during the Queen's funeral, so it was extra crowded. Yeah, we went in September and we had booked our trip way back in February. So we had no idea there would be thousands and thousands of extra people there. We only spent three days in London, and then we spent, we was over there a total of two weeks. We spent three days in London, and we stayed in Manchester, and but we also stayed a, a night in, uh, um, well, Scotland, <laughs> and then we went to Wales. Went out in the country to Yorkshire. Oh man, it's beautiful. Of course, I'm we're country people, and we loved it. A lot to see in London, and I've seen it now. So if I ever go back. I'll stay out in the country. Wales is one, one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen. Uh-oh. I think I nicked myself. Felt like I did. Yep. Two places. Man, what's going on with me? <laughs> oh well. It happens. Yeah, I felt that one. That's what I get for trying to tell stories while I shave. All right. Time to leather up again. Man, look at that. It builds a good leather. Ooh. It, um, some people don't like the, the cream style soaps like Tobbs, but what I have found is if you don't, if you keep them in your cabinet for quite a while and don't use them, they will firm up some, and they'll really firm up if you uh, leave them in there with the top off for a while. But I don't mind the creams.
This scent is just awesome. I love the scent. I've got some more Tob soaps. I've got, like I said, the sandalwood puck. I've got, uh, oh, what is that other one I've got? My memory. Sometimes. Takes a hike on me. Eaton College. Got that one. Now, their brushes are made by Simpson. But I have a confession to make. Um, I, didn't, I didn't really care for the knot in that brush. It was, I mean, it was a nice knot, but it was too floppy to suit me. It didn't have enough backbone. So I had a... Um, 24 millimeter, which is what this is. I had a 24 millimeter Frank shaving Manchurian knot. So I removed the Tobbs knot or the Simpson knot, if you will, and I replaced it with this Frank shaving knot. And I like it much better. Frank Shaving has excellent badger knots. Don't ever sell them short. They're, they're nice. Well, I got my lip. Look at that. Oh, well, like I said, you shave enough, and that's going to happen. Okay, I'm going to get my stubborn spot again. Always have to go over it a little more. Took care of that. It's gotten cool here in Kentucky in the at night. It's been warming up and being nice and sunny in the 60, mid 60s. It's it down in the 30s and 40s at night. When I do nick myself, it don't. It doesn't take much for it to show up. I've, I take an aspirin every day, and uh, which of course thins the blood out.
my daughter has a good friend in England, so she's been there several times, and she went with us. Thank goodness. If she hadn't, I don't know if we'd have ever got home. Heathrow Airport. Is one mel of a hiss. Man, it's a busy place. Okay. That's my two passes. Wipe my face off. Get the alum block and see if I can get rid of that blood on that neck. Hmm, well, I got a nice smooth shave. No feedback except, ouch, right there it is. It'll let you know that alum will, but good everywhere else, so that's good. I don't know what I did. I must have laid my razor down wrong on that area. But look, I took care of it. Okay, so I'm going to wash the brush out and let you see it. It's all covered up with a lather. This is a, uh, like I said before, it's a 24 millimeter bulb knot from Frank Sadie. I tell you, I had a, I had a, had quite a time getting the, getting the knot out of this brush um, I'll say one thing they and I've I've done a lot of that changing knots and removing knots and this one was was tough but I got it out of there but there it is uh, it says pure badger there that's what came in it uh, and I, I really did like the the texture and all of the of the of the hair but it was just it was just too floppy. Um, there's the front there. That's a pretty brush. And it's such a comfortable handle. I really do like it. like it a lot now that I've got that knot in there. Okay, let me get this. Well, I'll just wipe this uh, alum off. And then we'll put on some of this really nice scented German Street aftershave it says for sensitive skin I don't know I don't have sensitive skin but it gives little bitty squirts mm. boy that smells good that is a nice scent mm -mm -mm. very nice so to recap I used the uh, Taylor of Old Bond Street German Street shaving cream for sensitive sensitive skin. Really nice, really nice soap. You can tell how it's poured in there. It's more of a cream. I'll show you on this travel size. You know, it's just you can really. This one's firmed up a little bit, but. Uh, it, it still lathers very well. The aftershave once again. And of course, my go-to razor, my Yates 921M, which I love. The Permasharp blade. And again, the um, Taylor of Old Bond Street brush handle, anyway, <laughs> with the Frank shaving Manchurian knot in it. Very nice. Turned out to be a very nice brush. And um, Lord, they have a ton of brushes in their store. It's, it's just, gosh, there's just a whole section that that's, 
you could stand there all day looking at them. But that, hey, that's it for today. And, um, oh, got to do my vino. I can't, I can't, I can't leave y'all wondering why I didn't use my vino like I always do, so. Now that will do it. Nice shave today. Appreciate you watching. And let's see here. Do I need to, let me show you the ingredients right quick. You may want to see those. You'll have to pause and look at it. But that's the ingredients. I don't know if the ingredients are on here. Yes, they are. That's the ingredients there. Alcohol free. So, it's going to do it for today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Be sure and use my Razor Company um, affiliate link. If you need any gear, down in the description, go to the Razor Company affiliate link. Type in, type in Randy Shaves. It's got the instructions. Uh, also, uh, don't forget, I've got a Yates affiliate link. Yates Precision Manufacturing. Jake Yates and Company. Be sure you use it if you want to buy a Yates razor. And hey, he has got the winning razor coming back. He's making them right now. He's going to release like, I think it's 30 of them uh, here shortly. So uh, if you want in on that, you better get in on it. And if you do, use my link. I'll appreciate it. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll talk to you guys the next time. Adios.